Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in the Jacksonville, Florida area. So as you can see, this is an introductory video to a new series I'm going to be releasing on my channel regarding the subject of alcohol in the Bible. Now, I'm aware that this can be a very controversial issue and that there are many people that line up on different sides of the argument when it comes to this topic. And the reason being is because there's much confusion about what the Bible teaches about alcohol and about wine. That's why I believe that it's paramount that a video or a series of videos like this be put out clearing up the confusion. I want to provide you with an authoritative resource that can give you definitive and conclusive answers about what the Bible teaches about alcohol. Now, this series is not going to be authoritative because of my words, but rather I'm going to be showing you and teaching you everything straight from the ultimate authority, the King James Bible. Throughout this series, I'm going to be doing a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to be proving to you that in the King James Bible, the word, when the word wine appears, then it can have a couple of different meanings. The term wine, when found in the King James Bible, is a general word that's used for juice. And it can either be referring to fermented juice or unfermented juice. Oftentimes it's referring to grape juice, but it can be referring to any type of juice. And that is alcoholic juice or non-alcoholic juice. I'm going to be showing you that from the King James Bible repeatedly throughout these videos. And that's really the crux of the issue and what causes many people to misunderstand the Bible's teaching when it comes to alcohol. Number two, I'm going to be proving to you without a shadow of a doubt that Christians are commanded and expected to abstain from any and all alcoholic consumption. And that the Bible teaches that it is a sin for a Christian to even allow alcohol to touch or to pass through their lips. We should stay as far away from it as possible. There are many Christians and even many pastors that believe and teach that we as Christians can drink alcohol, but the sin is drunkenness. That's not true, and that's not what the Bible teaches. Yes, it is a sin to become drunken, but furthermore, the Bible is crystal clear that it is also a sin to even drink alcohol, and we should stay away from it. I want to begin with a verse that is going to be the theme verse throughout this series, and that's Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 14. The Bible says this, Butter of kine and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat. Then it says this, And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. Deuteronomy chapter number 32, verse number 14, is the Lord speaking to the children of Israel, the children of God, about certain things that he had provided for them. And one of the things that he said that he blessed them with was the pure blood of the grape. That's what God desired the children of God to drink and to consume. And that's what God has created and desires for us to drink is the pure blood of the grape. Alcohol is as far from pure as could possibly be. The lifestyle that comes with alcohol is as far from clean and pure as could possibly be. And we as Christians are commanded to live sanctified, clean, and pure lives. So we as Christians should stay as far away from alcohol as we could possibly be. And that's why God has provided us with the pure blood of the grape. I hope you'll follow along in these videos, and I hope that the videos will be a blessing to you. God bless you, and have a good day.